Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 11th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day, rather light volume in places. We had a good showing in the diamonds and IWM, but everything else was a little bit on the weak side. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. You know, looking at these markets, um, volume was a little bit light um, yesterday, kind of as expected with not much for the market to react to as we kind of wait for that CPI number Wednesday morning. And then your guess is as good as mine as to where we go from there. So let's take a look at these charts without a bias and see if we can figure out if there's something we can do today. If you take a look right in here, we've got um, a resistance in this diamonds chart. We're pushing up, had a nice day yesterday, pushing up, trying to push up a little bit more this morning. But as you can see, we're gonna run into a little bit of a price resistance level in this chart that we failed here recently with a gap lower. So that leaves um, a little bit of a question here. Can we actually push through that on a day where we have very little uh, for inspiration um, in the market. Now, if we can, if the bulls can push on through there, well, then the next step would be to try to fill that gap and um, close up that, that window right here with that um, island reversal that we saw last week. So watch that closely. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, then I'm gonna suggest that our next move would be right back down into here now that doesn't change anything because as you can see yesterday was another hold at our 50-day moving average so trying to hang in there and hold on but it it still is a little bit um, uncertain here maybe as to what comes next with that cpi number we're right in that range where we could have a big upside move if that number comes in better than expected or also a big downside move if there is some bad news so make sure that you're uh, on boring days it's very very tempting to over trade to be really active and you know trade out of boredom be really really careful not to be building a portfolio full of positions ahead of a big data point like that that could go either direction let's take a look at our um, spy spy uh, held support so we got to give that to the bulls held support but really kind of a benign day with just a lot of chopping around volume was relatively light and you can see i made that mention that possibility that we could just rest remember we're going to have big bank earnings coming out on friday that will certainly provide some inspiration to the market whether it be up or down but at the same time we're going to be waiting on big tech for another uh, couple of weeks so as we wait for that those big tech reports to start it wouldn't be too odd to see the spy maybe do some resting in here depending on how those bank inspirations um uh, you know push the push the market around so watch carefully here now if the bulls continue to find um, reason to push up and you can see they're trying to push up just a little bit here this morning then once again we could push up and maybe test the underneath side of that little island that was created there in the chart if they can push through there then we're going to retest those highs if the bears find inspiration today then i would suggest maybe a push down here to test these price support levels right here in the chart and if they can uh, push through there then of course we're kind of looking down here on in this trend line as the next level to hold the spy qqq 
very much the same. Um, as you can see, we didn't get a whole lot of love here yesterday. As a matter of fact, the big tech giants um, had some selling. Um, uh, Google is actually in a shorting pattern right now. So a little bit of pressure here in some of those big techs. But by the end of the day, they found some buyers and rallied back up and basically went nowhere um, on the day. You can see we still have that possibility that we could rest in here with that uncertainty. You know, we also heard from Microsoft this morning that they're laying off another 10,000 uh, folks in a restructuring. So please keep in mind that healthy, strong companies with economies doing well don't typically lay off folks, but we're still seeing those layoffs come in that tech sector. So I don't know if that pretends it to tell us anything about uh, future earnings, but it's something that we should watch for and we shouldn't be too surprised if we kind of rest here in this chart. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here today, pushing down below that level would probably send us back down into this support area of the chart and possibly even trend. And keeping in mind, both the SPY and QQQ still well above their 50 day moving averages. This is just kind of an overbought situation in those indexes and we're just consolidating that move, waiting for that 50 day moving average to kind of catch up. If we take a look at our IWM. IWM had a really good day yesterday. The small caps really surged and they're trying to push again this morning. So right back up here is the test. Can we pop through this this time? And how many times have we tried? Well, many times we've tried to get through there. And sometimes we got through but just couldn't hold. So this is going to be a critical level here for the Russell. This is quite a pattern here on the bottom trying to build a base. And as we wait for that CPI number, um, well, it'll be interesting to see if we can find enough inspiration to push through. If we do push through here, then I'm going to look to these next levels uh, for resistance in the chart. And if the bears find inspiration, well, I'm going to say right back down here is where we could probably be headed if uh, the bears were to re-engage today. Let's take a look at our VIX. Probably not a big surprise. The VIX really didn't do much yesterday. We just kind of skated around in the same range. We're kind of stuck between about 16 handles and 14 and a half handles here in the VIX. Just kind of floating around. We've got a little bit of a cup pattern forming here that could form a, a little cup and handle type pattern in the market. You can see we've also got a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that showed up in there. Um, that's the break of the neckline of that. And then at the same time, we're still dealing with this overall downtrend in the VIX. So I think there's a bit of uncertainty going on here in the market and we're trying to figure out what comes next. What's that next shoe to fall um, here in the market? Or T2122. T2122 had a nice little pushback up yesterday, rallying. Notice we've got a little bit of a flattening hook right here. It, it was much more pronounced earlier on in the day, but looking okay here um, right now. One thing you will want to take note of is if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today. Well, we're running out of that upside room here awfully quick here in the T2122. We're going to be in an overbought situation here on that pretty darn fast. And if the bears find inspiration, well, we've got a big open area here to the downside if um, the bears find a reason to relieve some of that buying pressure here in the market. Remember, it's probably going to be a rather light volume day as we just wait for the CPI because there's not a whole lot today for inspiration for those bulls or bears. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, Oops. T2108, kind of, um, well, a nice move yesterday. Um, again, we, we were hooking over earlier in the day, but kind of corrected that right at the end of the day with that surge just in the last few minutes of the day we surged back up and looking at this chart you can see we're pressing into re some resistance levels in the chart but you got to give this up to the bulls they're doing a good job about 65 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average now remember 65 to 75 um, area puts us into kind of that 
overbought condition, that little bit of over frothy position, and maybe a little bit overconfident position heading into um, big data on Wednesday. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also did a good job yesterday pushing up. Nothing wrong here in this chart. Bulls are still in control. Some resistance in that chart. And remember, once we reach this area in here between about 50 and 65, um, we start reaching that possible overbought situation in the market. Our uh, T2101, T2101 continues to, to show us that that market breadth um, is falling and what was interesting yesterday is we saw no little hook pattern in here um, when we get those little hook reversals it's showing us that we could be shifting direction and nothing yet so um, just kind of keep an eye on that let's take a look at our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar well we've got not much here to inspire the market. You, as you can see, we've got some bond settlements. The biggest report of the day is the NFIB Small Business Optimism Report. We've got some more bond announcements. We've got some bond auctions. And that's it. So not much here to drive the market uh, today. Now, if we take a look into Wednesday, this is what everybody's gonna be thinking about the CPI, keeping in mind we've got mortgage applications coming in. And we saw last time mortgage applications dropping pretty hard because of those rising rates. So watch for that on Wednesday morning. And then we've got a little bit of Fed speak. We've got um, petroleum status and uh, beige book and some more Fed speakers in there on Wednesday to pay attention to. If we take a look at our um, earnings calendar today, well, I put a couple of things on it um, only because there's that's all there was to put on it, and they're not really all that notable. First off, uh, BYRN will be reporting this morning, and you can see a nice little pop here, a little $5 stock. You know, unless you're in this, um, probably not a particular interest and not really a market mover. And then the last um, but not least, um, AM, whoops, AMX will be reporting after the bell today. And again, another, another stock that is just not likely to be all that inspirational to the market so keep a close eye on that how about we take a few look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And once again, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, it, does, um, it does mean a lot to me and I, I do truly appreciate it. And um, also keep in mind that I do these videos, um, um, this preparation as much for me as I do for everyone else. So, um, you know, it's it's, it's not just because I'm the nicest guy in the world. This actually helps me in being able to remove that fear of missing out, to look at a chart without a bias of trying to trying to say, I want it to go here, I want it to go there. I really look at the charts with, well, if the bulls are inspired, we could go here. If the bears are inspired, we could go here. So if you find that helpful, please do me a favor and share this video out on your social media feed. That helps other folks find it. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here because over trading in a market ahead of uh, big data like we've got coming our way can be a dangerous situation because we have no idea if it's going to gap higher or gap lower. Um, and 
well, and then it just kind of happens to you because the, the data point comes out before the market opens. So you don't get an opportunity to really respond. So be really careful and never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure you follow your rules and your risk tolerance uh, guidelines. Let's take a look at a few things. First off, let's look at the dollar. Um, dollar is starting to sink again pretty hard. And as that um, happens, we're, we're seeing those bond yields pulling back just a little bit. That's helping out relieving some of that interest rate pressure um, in the market. But this could shift very quickly depending on how that data comes out tomorrow. So keep a close eye on the dollar. But having said that, with the dollar weakening, that's um, helping some of these stocks. Um, U.S. Steel pushing back up. We're going to see commodity prices typically rally when the dollar weakens and you can see we've got an interesting pattern here now, unfortunately this kind of disappointed me we ran up nicely and we didn't hold this support and so now we're testing it as resistance i need to see us steel get back up above here and hold um, please keep in mind that i um, have a position in this so i have a little bit of a bias on it I've got a nice profit in it because i've been holding it with some covered positions in there and um, looking pretty good right now. If that dollar continues to weaken, then I would expect to see steel continue to move on higher. And you could look at other places. Um, doesn't have to be US Steel. Um, steel Dynamics trying to make that make that turn back higher here so keep an eye on that some of those steel stocks are trying to show some some bullishness just based on a weakening dollar and with that in mind um, let's take a look at um, some oil sector stocks um, this is Warren Buffett's baby right here he owns a huge portion of this company and he continues to buy it in fact his last recent buy was over in here someplace um, not that that makes should make any difference to to you and I whether this is a good trade or not what I'm looking at in this chart is a nice little pattern we can see we've been working this bottom here for a while if and now holding a little bit of a higher low in here is important to me so I've got a price alert on this chart I didn't pick it up yesterday and again it's just because of the big data points coming out tomorrow I don't want to over trade but watching this closely in here breaking this downtrend and creating a higher low can be the beginning of an uptrend so let's watch this carefully in here if that starts moving higher and with the weakening dollar that also helps some of these oil sector stocks take a look at like APA APA trying to come up here you can see working in this move little teeny tiny hint of an upside trend as you can see here trying to break some resistance we popping and resting in here look for that next opportunity to the upside in some of these oil sector stocks you know um, as much as our administration continues to try and kill off coal well, doggone it, here comes coal, coal racing back here. So once again, more of a commodity. When that commodity uh, sees weakening dollars, we could see um, a strengthening here in um, coal. So BTU, nice little resting pattern here, sliding out toward trend. Watch for that next opportunity to the upside. Take a look at stocks like GE. Boy, GE has just been a monster this year, just running and running and running. Beautiful little hold here, popping through this um, blue sky high up here, pulled back, found price support, and now seeking new 52-week highs. Keep an eye on that. GE is looking great. Watch that for some more upside to the uh, in that chart. NWL is one that I think is a kind of an interesting looking chart. Um, notice that we've been working this downtrend here for a long time and we're right up there pressing against that downtrend and price resistance. So what I'm watching here is that first higher low. Notice we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to show here and that opportunity that that could pop through and maybe start to move into an uptrend. So keep that one in mind. Carvana is another one that has just been racing to the upside. Probably needs a little rest or pullback at this point. You can see this was the buy point down in here. That pullback, and there's your pop through 
right on through to the upside looking very very good any rest or pullback in here would set up the next opportunity in Carvana um, as I mentioned yesterday uh, FedEx is one to kind of keep an eye on it actually rallied up and popped through my alert chose not to buy it because we're uh, we're away from our trend here um, that possibility and we see this a lot um, um, anymore we will we'll pop early after a big run we'll get a buy signal that pops and then we just kind of fade back into trend or consolidation so watch that carefully in here FedEx may be one for the radar and UPS is also very important trying to move up now I would uh, hate to um, uh, well it would be wrong to miss this um, uh, today is Amazon Prime Day one of the Amazon Prime Days will be today and tomorrow and we have a perfect situation for Amazon Prime Day because we're going to have practically have a boring market so um, adding to that boredom could be a whole bunch of people spending all of their day um, looking at their phone trying to make uh, purchases on deals now what analysts are saying is that this should be a pretty good Amazon Prime Day but kind of keep in mind if it's not that can usually affect them the stock negatively if it is a good Prime Day it could affect it bullishly and notice we've broken through a little resistance we've got a nice little trend so if those numbers start coming in good over the next couple of days look for that opportunity to the upside in um, Amazon if it has that opportunity so with that guys I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading just kind of realize it could be one of those choppy kind of boring days I think everybody's going to be shopping to be honest so uh, be really careful don't over trade um, we'll see what happens tomorrow it could be bullish it could be bearish I really don't know your guess is as good as mine but be prepared for just about anything on Wednesday with that I wish you all the best have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning wishing you all the very best